Alright, in this video we're going to look at problem number 29 on the free ATIT's math practice test that you can find over at www.bcraftmath.com. Number 29, Ashley needs a pair of shoes for running and another pair for work. The local shoe store has a sale this week. The sale states that you can buy one pair of shoes and get 40% off a second pair of equal or lesser value. The running shoes retail for 75 bucks and the work shoes she would like retail for $58. How much to the nearest dollar will Ashley spend excluding tax on both pairs of shoes if she takes advantage of the sale? So what's key here is this. You buy one pair of shoes and you get 40% off a second pair of equal or lesser value. So she has to pay full retail for the most expensive pair of shoes, the 75 bucks. So automatically she's going to pay $75 plus something else. She's not going to pay 58 bucks for the second pair because she's getting 40% off. Now, if you've made it through this far in the practice test and you've watched several of my other tease videos, we've talked about percentages a lot and we want to focus on speed here. We get 40% off of this $58 pair of shoes. So if you find 40% of multiply $58, we get $23.20. However, this is not what Ashley's going to pay for that pair of shoes. This is what she gets off of the $58. So let's take $58 and subtract $23.20. When she gets 40% off of the $58, when we subtract that, we get $34.80. That's how much she's going to pay for that second pair of shoes. However, before we finish this problem, a faster way to get the $34.80 if she's getting 40% off the second pair of shoes, the cheaper pair of shoes, that's going to leave her paying the remaining 60%. If you get 40% off, 100% minus 40% is 60%. So check this out. Let's find 60% of the $58. And boom, $34.80. So you know, we don't have to subtract that off because again, you get 40% off, that leaves her paying the remaining 60%. As you can see, we still get the same number there. And to finish this problem off, she's gonna pay 75 bucks for the first pair of shoes, plus the second pair of shoes for $34.80. She's gonna pay right at, to the nearest dollar, 110 bucks. And notice I did write approximately 110 bucks, these squiggly equals here, because we want to know the amount to the nearest dollar. And there you have it, problem number 29 on the free ATIT's math practice test. And again, you can pick this up over at www.bcraftmath.com. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.